Intelligent powertrain management is a key function of cruise control that uses terrain maps and GPS to provide predictive acceleration, shifting, e-coast, and effective torque management. The purpose of intelligent powertrain management is to use the momentum of the vehicle most efficiently by eliminating unnecessary fueling, engine braking, and shifting while minimizing the impact on travel time. This means IPM uses shifts, acceleration, engine braking, and e-coast to efficiently operate the powertrain. All these may all occur at different points than you would expect because IPM is constantly looking up to a mile ahead. Here are a few examples of how IPM plans the route ahead and manages the powertrain. When approaching a steep grade, IPM may increase road speed to allow the truck to climb the hill with the least downshifts possible. It will not increase the speed higher than the cruise control or road limit, whichever is greater. On the downhill side, it may coast or e-coast before the cruise speed is obtained. Before cresting a hill, IPM may engage e-coast or stop fueling the engine for two reasons. One, it knows it can crest the hill with the truck's momentum, and two, it plans for downhill acceleration. Another feature towards the bottom of a grade, IPM will delay the engine's brakes from engaging to increase the truck's momentum for the upcoming grade. IPM will also display your current speed and the maximum speed range on the DT12's ICU display. If the road you're driving on is not covered by the IPM map, the cruise speed range will be replaced with the normal cruise control display. When driving in mountainous terrain, you can adjust the cruise control with the plus and minus buttons, which will also affect the cruise control range of IPM. As you know, you will get better fuel economy the more you use cruise control. Detroit encourages you to use cruise control whenever it is safe to do so.